Hi guys, got another build for you here um, for Star Wars The Old Republic. This is the second video and I wanted to do another one for the Jedi Knight but this time focusing on the Sentinel Advanced Class. Um, basically the Sentinel um, Advanced Class is a pure DPS class. You've got a lot of um, maneuverability, a lot of fast attacks and so on. And as I say, I said in the last video, these builds are by no no means set in stone. They can't be because the game still has to launch at the time of recording. So these will probably change. But when everyone like logs into the game, if you're looking for some builds from level 10, this is what I think will give you a very solid DPS build. Um, focus on speed of movement and also quick attacks and so on and dealing a lot of damage. So I'll just go on with what I think and you can let me know what you think below. Um, basically the build is 34 points on combat, this tree here. We're going to have 3 points on watchman and 4 on focus, so we're picking up a few skills. I'll just load up the points on combat first. We're going to stick 2 points on Jedi Crusader. And you'll see how this build works out as I go through. Um, I'm going to stick three points on dual wield mastery because remember the sentinel class you will be able to dual wield and you can see here the, the good thing about this skill is it will increase the damage with your second lightsaber, your offhand one. Um, stick two points on defensive forms and moving up stick three points on steadfast Increases your accuracy there. Stick two points on defensive roll. And um, moving across, stick one point on temperance. Causes them to bleed. Uh, stick, let me see. Stick two points on immaculate force. Basically increasing the critical chance of blade storm. Stick one point on a Turu form. Now this is um, basically, well you can see here, enter an aerobatic light, lightsaber form increasing accuracy by 3% and you'll see a lot of the skills now that we we add on will use this form so uh, you don't have to do it but it's um, this is what I think will work out to be a solid DPS build. Um, stick 2 on opportune attack Stick one on combat trance, or pick that up rather, it's a skill. Um, obviously stick two on Aturu Mastery, so we've mastered that form. Stick two on Righteous Seal. And stick one on Fleet Footed. And then I stuck one on dif Displacement. Pick up Precision Slash. They're not sure how much damage that skill will be, but um, as I say, this is just very basic at the minute, very beta. Swift Blade, stick two on there. Stick three on Saber Storm. Stick two on Debilitation. And lastly, up here, pick up this skill. Strikes the target with both weapons for weapon damage and automatically triggers an Atura Form strike. So you can see we're going for that Atura Form um, skills there and we're just picking a few choice skills out of the watchman tree and the focus tree. Uh, stick one on momentum. It's basically a lot of these skills here that I'm just picking um, will take away the cost of a lot of the other skills in the combat tree. Stick one on quick recovery and stick one on focus slash. Then moving across for the focus tree we're going to stick three on insight because it just increases the critical strike chance. That so makes your chance, um, sorry, your strikes more deadly. And then stagger. Just click one because we use force leap a lot. Okay, guys. As I say, very rough build because the game is not out yet. But um, if you've taken part in the beta, you'll probably be able to see why I've picked a few of those skills. And if you're looking for a solid DPS build as soon as the game launches, check out this, um, subscribe to the channel, keep checking back because I will have builds for all classes coming up. Okay guys, cheers.